Question 31. What's 1 and 4 fifths add 3 tenths? Now the first thing to notice here is that we've actually got different denominators because one of the fractions is in fifths and the other one is in tenths. Now we can't add these until we've got them in the same denominator. So what we're going to do first of all is forget about the 1 to begin with. We'll come back to that at the end. So we're going to turn 4 fifths into tenths. Now, if you double both of these numbers, you're going to get 8 tenths. And that's going to get 4 fifths into an equivalent fraction of 8 tenths. But you've also got 3 tenths. Now, 3 tenths is already in tenths. Now, we just need the denominators to be the same. So 8 tenths add 3 tenths is going to be 11 tenths. It's like saying 8 apples add 3 apples. The unit you're talking about there is apples. So 8 apples and 3 apples is 11 apples. 8 sausages and 3 sausages is 11 sausages. If the unit you're dealing with is tenths, then 8 tenths and 3 tenths is 11 tenths. But well, 11 tenths is an improper fraction. And to turn an improper fraction into a mixed number, you do a divide. Because this line here means divide. So what you're actually doing is 11 divided by 10. Now 11 divided by 10 is one remainder one. This one here is your remainder. Now just to remind you that your remainder you must turn into a fraction. So if we're dealing with tenths all the way through, we're still dealing with tenths in our next number at the end. So 11 divided by 10 is one whole one and one tenth remaining. So it's one and one tenth. So now we've added all of this together and we've got one and one tenth we can go back to the question this bit here is one and one tenth but don't forget we've got this extra little one that was at the start so it's like saying what's one whole one plus one more whole one and one tenth well one whole one and one whole one is two whole ones and then you've got your one tenth so your final answer is two whole ones and one tenth